Hi guys, here's another video. We've got this Kinderman AV100 automatic um, slide projector to show you around the model here. Quite tidy, obviously an old unit with an issue. So the, you just open the front like so, put the tab underneath here. And then, once you've done that, all you've got to do now is pull the projector forwards like so. And it just locks into this little tab here. As you can see, it locks in there. It will do eventually. You can see the magazine there. Okay, so it's locked in here. And um, I'll show you what the problem is. When you turn it on, the magazine just constantly moves forwards, as you can see here. It's not supposed to unless you press the button to make it move forwards and if you notice um, if you press the back button here it will move back but if you let go it will move forwards constantly um, I thought it was a button that stuck down but it's not I've checked I've dismantled the unit pull the button apart but, um, it's fine like I said you hold the re reverse button there and it starts reversing but it won't stop when you let go it starts going forwards Without any, um, without being prompted. Okay. So, let me show you again. Press the back button. And when you let go, that's going the other way. Okay, so I'll just knock that off. And what I'm going to do is just remove the screen. There's some clips at the front here. Put that to one side for a minute. Okay, there's just two screws on the top and four screws underneath the switches. But um, you can just take the two screws off the top here, one at the front, one at the back. And then What you've got to do is now lift this cover off. Unless the side the switch panels come off. So you've got to lift this cover off like so. And then let me show you the gubbings inside. Probably want to disconnect it from the mains at this stage, which I have done. Okay, I'll put it back in just to show you. The problem is this unit here. This little switch. Like a relay. That's the problem. Um, let me just show you here. It's a little click switch there. Like a old style relay. And it's just locked on. That's why it won't stop um, rotating. So it's a simple fix, all I've got to do is get this toothpick in and just bend it back slightly. You see here, that's all it is. And then, you can see here, turn it on. And as you can see here, now I'm able to operate it by the switch and it doesn't run forward by itself. So that's a successful repair. So what I've got to do now is reassemble the unit. I'll have to remove the plug from the socket. Just putting it back together here, lively. So I can uh, demonstrate with it fully assembled. Put two screws in there. Right, okay. Here we have, open the top of the unit and uh, Let's fix the um, screen now, switch it on, and you can see there, I've got the remote with it here, so this button button adjusts the focus, which is what I'm doing here, and the top button is for the cartridge, backwards or forwards, you see, that's how it's supposed to operate, only when you press the button it moves, as you see there, I've only got four cartridges in there films in, in the cartridge sorry but uh, that's the operation see it working fine 
and that was simple enough to repair so I just switch it off and uh, push this magazine back and fix the screen like so clip that back in and just adjust this slide bar push the magazine back there happy with that what I'm going to do now is once I've locked the screen back in close the lid and that concludes thanks for watching once again and please subscribe